Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Japan, episode number 24. So our Fuji class is very close to completion at some cost to our budget. I love this thing so much that I did take the time off camera as a total labor of love to design a picture of it. So this is our uh, Fuji class Dreadnought. It has, I think it looks really nice. I would say that it doesn't, it looks a little bit strange to me how far forward the forward guns are. I don't know why it somehow doesn't look quite right to me. I, I feel like everything in the ship should be shifted back a little just for center of mass arguments. Um, and maybe that's just because of the way the superstructure and um, the funnels and all that lined up. Like if we had shifted them back a little further, maybe the ship would look more correct. I don't know. But if we just take a look at the center, like center of the ship from a distance, perspective. Um, the forward guns are way far forward compared to the aft guns, so it doesn't appear to be a balanced ship. But um, I am also wanted to point out, I think this is, yes, the Yakumo class. <laughs> it's so fantastic that, oh uh, shoot, who was it? It was Finnish Jaeger who did this. I was really excited about this. Um, whoops, that's, <laughs> that's Aurora 4X stuff. Let me try to get the most recent version up. Is this going to work? No, it's not. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. It, he has a newer version now, which says something like, um, it has the quote, my famous quote from last turn. Oh, I have it here. Let me just drag it over. There it is. Now we have, um, he showed the damage afterwards and whatever. It's just, it's wonderful. Take a few hits and I don't know. I'm just really happy. This is such a nice thing. Incompetent Idiot has done a lot of these things too. I have his um, maps of the world as it progresses. I could also pull those up right now. I really love these, like all of these things, like my designing of the, of the, of the Fuji class, these maps, they're all little labors of love that I, I just, I really appreciate. Um, I have moved all those files from Incompetent Idiot, but anyways, uh, enough about this. It's not really like gameplay relevant, but it's just, those are the kind of things that I think helps me get into the series, and I think would help you guys get in the series. I love that, f <laughs> the the drawings of that one. I've actually requested a Fuji class if you can put it together. Yeah, but even, I don't think we could probably even, it'd be nice to have a, yeah, maybe to do my own top down or something, because I don't like that. Anyways, let's progress on. Fire control, we're probably not getting too much out of all this research now, because we're probably uh, maxed out on fire controls research like maybe there's nothing else to build there so let's look at this one 19 for ship design yeah we've already messed with this enough so let's move on uh, threatened by a neighbor let's back our ally un unconditionally damn it it did bring Germany up a little higher which I'm not happy about so we'll, wow, we're so close just three more months and the United States has jumped, has jumped up. That's good. We're rooting for them. Ship design just doesn't appear to do anything. Whoops, not design ship. Let's go to research. I am going to drop that down to zero. It's obvious that there's probably nothing else to build there. Uh, those are fine. Oh, nope, nope. Time to once again. Just one at a time here. We just need two more months. Oh, no, we only need one of these to be brought to a, a halt temporarily. Okay, one more month, and then we should be able to do it. There it is. Our first two dreadnoughts. USA, yes! <laughs> All right, are we ready? No, <laughs> absolutely not. We are not ready for war because I didn't, I didn't expect this, well... Oh well, we don't really have a choice because this is like the best opportunity to make sure we don't go to war with U uh, Germany. We go to war with the USA. We could also choose Germany, but I don't want to. Let's do it. And we actually, oh, this is a, a real blessing. We have one more month. We actually need to start positioning our ships. So we do have four here. Let's take a look at the map, which I have to reset. Where is, whoops, where, where are all of the um, United States ships? Usually you just rest your cursor and it shows you why is that not working suddenly. Huh, this is so weird. I've never... 
There it is. Okay, now it's working. USA has six heavy cruisers. I'm going to call them. They're probably not armored cruisers anymore. They probably really are the heavy cruisers, which is nice because I think our heavy cruisers are... Wait, are they there? Let's... All right, let's move our heavy cruisers down in pursuit of the would-be enemy. Okay, move them down there. I don't think that really affects us because... Oh, it, it actually does. We are now two movement away from the east coast from the west coast hmm ho hum ho hum all right we're gonna pull back two of them never has it been so complicated to cancel movement orders um i'm going to move just two down the ice roko and the augustus maru who previously were or was it the Agashira? I remember Augustus Morrow, but who was the other one? Was it the Agashira? They were previously partners. You know what? For gameplay flavor, I would rather keep those together. Oh God. All right, this is gonna take a second, but just for gameplay flavor, let's just, let's keep things interesting. That we'll keep ships that fought together, together. I like that. I mean, it's probably what you would do in real life too. Um, all right. So we have two Yakumos that can stay, and those will venture forth with probably our Sagami class originally um, to start the invasion chance on the western coast. We can get Eastern Lucians, we can get Alaska, we can get Hawaii, and we'll also be putting a lot of pressure on Southeast Asia with the rest of our Sagami class until our Fujis work up in Northeast Asia. Do we have any forces in Indian Ocean right now? No, and we don't need them. Oh, but... We have to make sure, oh my god, we have to make sure we get some ships into Southeast Asia for the surprise attack. And let's just get all of our Lyaga race. Move every single one of these to Southeast Asia on the double. And we have plenty of other ships in Southeast Asia, maybe, not really. Let's get the Honokas that are already there, good, and we have one Takachiho. We'll move half of our Takachihos there. Wait, are we, did I grab the wrong move? Probably grabbed the wrong group there. Now it's working. Good, so we'll have four there. We'll have five still in Northeast Asia and then we'll, all, we'll have all of our Hashidati in the correct location. I kind of think the Hakazi, it'd be risky, but let's try to move a few of these into the Indian Ocean just in case. It, actually, it doesn't really matter. We'll move them there anyway, but let's get a bunch of them to move over I don't know if you can do a surprise attack without supporting ships, but let's just risk it. Oh, wait, these are short range ships? Yeah, they are. So th this is really important that we get them where we want them to go. We're moving some of them to the Indian Ocean, very good. We are moving, let's say, some of them to Southeast Asia. Let's talk, let's say four. Let's move the rest of them in a very adventurous move to the west coast. And that means we are going to have to complement that with something. Whew. Why not roll the dice and get the Takachihos in position on the west coast? In fact... These Akumos, it's time for them to pay the pay the high price for their uh, maintenance by going forth to harass the Americans. Godspeed. Oh, all that work and then Germany went up and the USA went down. That's exactly what I didn't want. Okay, well, let's unpause these. Oh, it looks like we only have to resume one. We'll start building up our budget for the next battle cruiser. Okay, by all means. Oh my god, no, this is not good. So those guys, <laughs> they were only supposed to be there one turn. Now we have to move them back, damn it. So frustrating the way that you have to move things in this game. All right, let's get you guys back as well. It would have been fun, but it didn't materialize. And a few of you as well. 
we can still hope for a surprise attack on there in the Southeast Asian holdings. Ah, good, yes, I agree. No, do not do that. We would lose, wait, how many? How many do we have still building? Three of them. Yeah, we do not want to lose three that are basically done. So let's do it. Okay, that was fantastic. We're no longer worried about Germany. All right, the Hakazi are still kind of deployed in fun locations, good. We can always move that whole task force back when it appears that war will actually happen. Technology sharing agreement, what, are you kidding me? I don't really care about them. What could they possibly have? No, let's not do it. If it was anybody but Russia. Man, I was, I, I thought for sure we were gonna get the war we wanted. Okay, let's send a battleship, and this may be the war we want. No, what, France? Where did France come from? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, we might have a repeat war with the British before we get it with the Americans. I can't control these things, you know? That's just outside of my control. Um, the new naval secretary believes the submarines are the key to victory in a future war. He wants you to build at least 21 additional submarines. We'll say, of course, sir, for the budget but we will be snubbing them. Italy has stolen something from us. Well, their tensions are really low, so we don't really care. Um, and now I think, gosh, it's almost time to build the battle cruiser. Let's just auto design to start tickling our, our brain about how it, it would be designed. This is not at all the design, my God. This is probably the design if we take out that midship 16, 14, we just never got the better guns, you know? Ugh, so unfortunate. Good. Make the agent a national hero. Not that I usually support being caught, but in this case, it was well worth it. Is there any, are there, is there, are there any um, updates that I need to do? Fans director, probably not. These guys are fine, right? Yeah, of course, they're the top of the line. Azumos, I think we said that they're like, too expensive to actually refit to do it? No, we have to. Let's do this, let's get these done just as quick as we can, four months, not too bad. There's probably something to be said about replacing the machinery. Okay, 3,400, four for eight versus 10, two million, already it's horrendous. And what do we get out of that? Two knots. Two knots would kind of make them relevant, but no, I'm not gonna do it. We almost would, should consider scrapping these, in fact. We won't scrap them yet, but the reason I say this is because uh, they're not really relevant anymore. Actually, no, they're still better than the Yukumo in like a one-on-one -on -one engagement, I think. I'm not sure, but that's my that's my guess. All right, 32 is fine. 1926 is actually getting old. We'll have to shoot. This is my entire, well, better to do it now, I guess. Let's rebuild. You know what, let's just do half at a time. Um, improve director, drop, okay, save, it's only three months, yeah, that's only three months, I think that's actually fine, but we'll wait maybe a couple months before we do the rest, that was the Liaga race, these were built in the 30s, they have only director fire control as well, probably should do all these as well, well, if we do all of them, we'll go to war, so let's just do half. Yeah, we're not going to go to 1945, so this refit will essentially last until the end of the game. That's fine. Wow, it seems like we almost have enough. No, okay. All right, yep, that's very cheap. I find this acceptable. Very good. So, with that budget, this is what we'll be doing. These guys are already maxed out. Oh, no, in fact, not. Okay, well then, now is the best time to actually get advanced director on you. Which we can do, actually, without... <laughs> actually, it works out pretty well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, save and go. Alright, so next turn. Oh, yes. We'll do this. 
Okay, good. Still, I'm still waiting for an option to choose with the United States. Okay, now one turn has gone by, so I think... Oh, we only we really only grabbed one. Let's get the rest of these and rebuild them. They are entirely covered. Like every, every other... Um, all the sea provinces that they're in are covered by other ships, so it's completely okay to do that. We already have advanced director on the Sagami. I will keep checking, though, because I'm paranoid. Honoka, again, we don't, we aren't sure we want to refit these guys. So we'll leave them. What are they at? Improved director. That's, you know, that's not bad. It's quite good. Hashidati should get... This one should probably get uh, advanced director, though. Yeah, and they can do it with only the drop of one. Not, I mean, with only a drop of one click of ammo. All right, so let's just finish off everyone who hasn't been finished yet. And this is the last time we'll have to do refits. That's the good news. Okay, the Hikazi 1932, that'll last forever. This will last. Takachio, Honoka, we already covered those. Yeah, we're good. Okay, do the competition. Oh, the Nike wins, well. Ah, look at that, unrest. It is increasing, but that's because the tensions are so high, don't you know? Russia, well, eh. We can go, we can piss them off. I have this fear that we'll go all the way to 1950 without another war, <laughs> even though the tensions, they've been there for, for so long. Yeah, it's so weird that we have like basically everything set to low <laughs> except for naval guns and yet they still, they persist in not giving us advancements. I don't think there's anything else we can get from this. Let's put that to low as well. Shoot. I don't know. Everything's... it's Naval guns is prioritized so much right now. I don't, I don't understand it. Yeah, okay. We, I, we screwed you over, Director. I apologize. Okay, the rest is five. This is not going to help. And tensions are just dropping. That's not good. Well, budget is really high, so maybe it is good time to build that battle cruiser. Just wish we could get one freaking improvement. Just one freaking improvement. Probably okay now to do this because it's just gonna take too long. I'm still tentative about replacing the machinery. 29 would be enough to run away, at least, for most ships. No, torpedo defense zero. This is just not worth one not worth investing. A very small investment to Get advanced director seems okay. And even then I'm tentative, but yeah, it doesn't it's not worth it to increase the speed because it doesn't have top mounted surface mounted torpedoes. Alright, let's just do this very simple retrofit. And keep going. Uh the British. We do not mind going to war with them. Man, things are going down, not up. We can't maintain this level of budget. Our unrest will keep going up. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we can redeploy the ships at least now that they have been... These are fine. Akazi's fine. The Og Race. We can get them down to Southeast Asia again. And what else did we have? The Yakumos. We'll split these as well. Very good. I want it. I want to take them. I think we can. 27 knots. That is not a dreadnought. Well, actually, by 1936, that is a dreadnought. So it looks like AP, project, AP stuff is also not increasing any further. Oh, well. I, I'm just not convinced. I'm not... Okay, let's just be absurd. Let's do it.
Okay, good. How dare you, game. Uh, yeah, let's just... Let's do it. I don't want to go to war with Germany. And our budget's actually high enough now. Look at, my god, 474. But Almanac, where are you? We are not... We're barely... Yeah, we're squeaking into fourth place. Germany's still better than us, which is sad. I thought at one point we actually had a higher budget than Germany. But it might have been just some trick of tensions. So probably it's a good time to design that new battle cruiser. But the, the naval guns... Oh my god, you are so far behind, Italy. Please, take it as a mercy. Man, it's, man, it's 20 minutes. Oh, wow! So there, uh, there are whole construction stuff that we have not yet gotten to. Look at the United States. They're all the, all the way back down to six. So sad. Uh, well, as long as the minister isn't taking away money... Everyone has better gun performance than us. Yeah, okay, we'll take it. Oh, good, someone else. I didn't realize, of course, that would mean that someone else would get a ship. Who is the lucky one? We have... Haruna. No. Is that the topmost one? Uh, Lee. The Lee from Brandon Lee. The next runner-up was Haruna from Soviet Plays, and then after that we had Yamato from Tamika Burkas. But it looks like the Lee is the winner. Now, let's make this a little bit more Japanese. That's Chinese, come on. Uh, we'll do it with an I. Or can we do Lee? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, okay. That's not technically Japanese, but it's a little bit better than Lee. Mutual reduction, we don't need it at this point because my pop-ups are really not working very well. I don't think we need it. And an international conference, no, we don't want that either. Um, yeah, we'll take it actually. We'll take the budget down, tension down, because our people are really getting upset about our budget. Basically, in the background, there's a, a natural budget you're supposed to be at, and because of tensions, we're way above that. But the people still know what your natural budget is supposed to be, and they start getting upset if your natural budget, if your actual budget, is significantly over your your natural one. Basically, like the government is diverting too much of the funding to the to the navy. Nope, denounce them. Might be it. Might be Great Britain in the end. I'm just horrified that we are not getting anything in... Well, wait. Is this finance minister? We have to do it. We just have to commit. We have to commit. It's too late. We can't... It's, we're not even going to finish the ship by the end of the game if we don't go quickly. Okay. Alright, well, I have a good idea of what I want to do anyway. Yes, design that. Good. Okay, this is exactly what I want. 16, increased elevation. This is fine. Let's get that ammo up a little bit. What is that speed? Heavens no. Try to get 29. I think that would be reasonable. We'll do that by dropping the belt down to 10, the deck to 4, conning tower up to 13, turrets will stay at 13. Her top will be 4.5, secondary is down to 2. How are we doing? We can drop this a little bit more. 43,000 is my nice little size. Let's get her top up to 5. This is going to be a range fighter. Let's do it. So let's get 30 then, and we will sacrifice whatever we can to keep us fighting at range. 5 inch guns, drop down to this. We'll take that many. Perfect. All or nothing. Torpedo defense of three, how much is it? It's so cheap to get the next one, I just, I'd be willing to spend the additional budget to get torpedo defense four. So this is what we have. It's actually, we don't need that many guns per side. This thing can out, uh, we'll use its speed a little bit. So we can actually get back a little bit. Uh, 
we can get back a little bit. So 43.3, oil, medium, normal, let's go through all these. 10 is a bit on the low side, but at the same time, right, for gun data, with all the armor piercing technology researched by pretty much everyone, we're gonna be penetrating anything less than 13 at essentially any range. So it's almost better to make this even lower if we do that, we can keep the deck really high, which it is. Let's just do be yeah, a little bit safe. 14. Uh, no, I, I want to keep it there. I actually do want to keep it there. And we'll drop the conning tower back down to 13.5. Perfect. Oh, well, whoops. Nope. We do have to do a few changes here. With a speed of 30, we are going to need surface mounted. Let's try to get... Right at the front of the ship, let's see if we can put quads. We can't, can we make them? We can if we drop this back down to 13.5. And I'm okay to do that. I just, um, I know that the torpedoes, when they're on top of the side turrets, they're not actually, it's just, you know, uh, they wouldn't really be on top of each other like that, but it, it annoys me a little bit. So we're gonna put our torpedo tubes in the front. Which, uh, might not be where they would actually go on a ship if we were designing it. Um, I'm also going to bring the funnels back because that same reason I had last time when it looked like the ship was out of balance. Oh yeah, actually that reminds me. We'll probably have to get rid of this because we can save ourselves a little bit more by continuing the trend with the Japanese ships. And I, I kind of like this from a, a role-playing perspective that the Japanese have convinced themselves. Oh, that is why. Okay, look, this is, I've, I found the mistake. If we do aft superimposed it and take away this, watch the front turrets are gonna jump backwards. See that? So if you do the turret in the middle, it actually pushes these forward. And that does not make sense. It's actually exactly the opposite. If we're moving the center of gravity back with these, we need to move the center of gravity back with these as well so that the center of gravity of the ship is maintained neutral. That's why it looks so funny. Maybe they should, I don't know, there's a lot of bugs and I've tried to report them. The one thing Rule the Waves is not great at is listening to Tortuga's complaints. Um, so anyway, let's get the aft superline center pose. We're gonna see that, although we put the turret here, it pushes these forward. And that does not make sense. It's like essentially creating more of a forward instability, but that's fine. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. It's just the way the game is made for whatever reason. So we have this um, raised and that saved us just a little bit and get back down to 43.3. If this thing can fight at range, which it's designed to do, it will win. It will win any engagement at range. I mean, it's just got massive deck armor. Even our with all the armor piercing technology, if we can fight basically within at around 20,000, our deck armor will be stopping a lot. That's great. All right, well, we waited as long as we could. I don't, yes, of course, change this. Double check, normal, 10, 4, 13.5, oh, nothing, this. Oh, what, how did we, we actually have a little bit of weight remaining somehow. Wait, can we get? Yes, okay, let's do it, quad bounce. I'm happy about that. That's probably not necessary. This thing's designed to fight at range, so in fact, I'm going to undo that and instead increase the conning tower to 14. Because it's designed to fight at range, if it gets even three torpedoes off, it'll be uh, a happy day for it. So everything checks out. All right, here we go. There it is. I don't like the name that I've chosen. I don't like any of these names. You know what? I will give a, a name to this will be the Takeda Shingen class. We're just gonna make it the Takeda class. Takeda Shingen is the famous warlord from the Daimo period or whatever, the, he, the one who died and his son tried to come and raise the power. Okay, just Google Takeda Shingen if you don't know that. Anyways, uh, this is gonna be Alexander number, number, number. It's gonna be his name. I'm gonna put his name as the class. So, 
you won't actually have a ship, Alexander, but you'll get a whole class for yourself. And I like that, because you chose a very good name, the Takita class. I like it. So save. I don't know why they finally changed it. And we'll go to the, we'll delete this design. And how expensive is this thing? The maintenance? Good. Lord almighty. I didn't listen to my own advice. Let's go back and... What if we drop this by a knot? Oh, God. Uh, can we actually open the design? Okay, here it is. And now we just drop it by one knot. The maintenance saving will be huge. We can drop the tonnage by a lot. I think I'm going to do this, too. Because 29, I think it'll already be able to fight where, when it wants, where and when it wants. Yeah. The alternative is with 29, maybe I should go up to triple, 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 uh, three by three, 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 three design, but that would kind of mitigate the, oh, okay, yeah, let's do it because there's no longer a penalty for the AF super light. So the only penalty we're paying is for this one. My God, are we paying a penalty though? Goodness. So it's up to this. I think the maintenance will still be less even though it's, yeah, without a doubt more expensive. Um, doesn't seem like we can drop that enough to, to make up for the huge jump at 45. And actually, we can get more, or we can finally increase this again and get 13.5. I'm okay with that. So let's save this. I am making that last minute decision. We are now getting, wow, that's actually pretty fantastic. We've gone up by 20% of our firepower. Let's see what the maintenance is on this new design. I think it's 8,000 more, but a one more or less a 1% increase in maintenance for a 20% increase in gun damage and only about a 4% drop in speed is just fine with me. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. So how many of these can we get? Well, still not that many. We'll go with four to begin. And I'll do the renaming off camera, but I think we've gotten pretty long into this episode, so I'll save and we'll call this uh, episode to a close here. And uh, next episode, we'll just try to get the tensions back up with the United States or with Great Britain. I'm okay with either of those enemies. I still have kind of like a vendetta. Oh, okay, so I'll have some retrofits. I'm going to do those retrofits off camera as well. So we just have a vendetta against the British. They haven't given us good peace terms yet. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more in the next... And until then, take care.